Hey, welcome back to another episode of Mom Boss Monday. Thank you for joining me today. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to start an email list from scratch. So if you're just starting with email marketing, I have five steps for you that you should take to start building your list. So last week we talked about starting a blog with WordPress and I mentioned how you can't rely on social media to build a business. I love social media. I've met so many great people there, but it's just nice to have your own things going, your own own website and your own method of communication because social media is always switching things around they control who sees your message and besides that your audience receives thousands of messages and they're bombarded on there all day long and with an email list you can contact them directly it's more of a personalized message when done correctly it's a way for you to connect more on a personal level with your audience so that's why it's so important to build an email list and i could really go on uh, about this forever but there's going to be time for all of that today i just want to share these five steps to get started building your email list from scratch so the first step is to create a lead magnet. This is also known as a freebie or a giveaway. It's basically just an incentive for you to invite people to your list. People are not gonna opt into your list just because you say so. So I think this is the first step before you even set anything up, have something of value to give away to your audience so that they can raise their hand and say, yes, I want to hear from you. So here's the thing about lead magnets. They must be so valuable that you could sell them if you want to. It has to be something of great value. And it can be a checklist, it can be an ebook, it really can be anything. Just make sure that it really adds genuine value and that it's related to your business some way because this is going to represent you and what you have to offer. This is really just like an upfront way for you to show them what you have to offer. So step number two is to choose an email marketing service. Now there's a ton out there. There's free ones, there's paid ones, but I'm gonna share two with you today. So the first one is MailChimp. So this is a free service and it's free for up to 2,000 subscribers. But as with most free options, it restricts you. You really don't have complete control. They are really strict on a lot of things. And with the free version, you're not allowed to use all their features. But this is a great way to get started. If you're just starting, you may not really know that much about email marketing. You may not even know how to start growing your list yet. So it's a great way to just get started and start learning. The second option is Aweber. They offer a 30 day free trial. And then after that, uh, the monthly payments will depend on the number of subscribers you have. I'll leave a link down below so you can check out their pricing charts or maybe I'll put a screenshot here. But that's what I use and I really love it. They are like the real deal. They let you organize your list. They let you add tags so you can send uh, specific emails to specific people and they let you automate your list so that you can just set up an email once and then it'll go out automatically. Step number three is to create your first autoresponder message. Now this is a message that goes out automatically upon a certain trigger. So the first one that you want to create is a welcome message. This is the message that will include your freebie, your lead magnet, or whatever you offered as an incentive. It will have that attached. This is also an opportunity for you to introduce yourself, set the expectations, what kind of emails will they be receiving and how often, and you should also give them a way to contact you in case they have any questions or trouble downloading that email. Step number four is to actually start building your list. So the best way to do this is through your blog. So if you don't have a blog yet, you should go watch last week's video on how to start a blog with WordPress and start doing that today because this is really the best way to build an email list. So once you do have a blog, you're gonna connect it with your email marketing service 
and this will allow you to create an opt-in form where people will be able to sign up put in their name and email address and that will send them to your email list that you created which will then trigger the autoresponder to send the welcome message with their freebie and on and on the fifth and final step is to keep communicating with your list and keep adding value. So this is the most important part of having an email list and it's something that most people screw up. I know I did. You have to stay in touch with your list. You have to communicate with them regularly. Keep adding value. Keep taking those jabs as Gary V says because if you don't, by the time you get around to emailing them, they're going to forget who you are. They're not going to remember where they even signed up and they will unsubscribe. So those are the five steps that you need to take to build an email list from scratch and each step actually requires like an in-depth explanation but this video would be hours long so just make sure you subscribe because I will be making more videos about this topic, how to build a list, how to make lead magnets, what to send to your list, that kind of stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on that content make sure you subscribe and that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a goal crushing week and I will see you next Monday.